So AMD's next generation Zen 2 core, which is slated for release sometime next year, was largely a mystery up until earlier in the month when the company took the covers off what its CPU engineering team has been cooking up in its labs, and it's quite the tasty recipe. Zen 2, despite its name, is actually going to power the company's third generation lineup of Ryzen processors. We have already seen the company's second generation product in the form of the 2000 series Zen Plus Ryzen lineup, which brought us some algorithmic power and frequency fine tuning in addition to an improved FinFET process. With that being said, AMD does not consider second generation Ryzen a redesign, but rather a refinement of the first generation Zen, which is expected to hold the line until 7 nanometer is ready for prime time next year. We've already covered a bulk of the new architectural improvements that AMD is bringing to the table with its next generation Zen 2 core built on TSMC's 7 nanometer process tech. However, there's a quick list of key enhancements. Improved execution pipeline, double floating point and load store, doubled core density, half the energy per operation, improved branch prediction, better instructions prefetching, re-optimized instruction cache, larger operating cache, increased dispatch and retire bandwidth, maintaining high throughput for all modes. And now, thanks to a leak on the SISOF Sandra database via TPU or Tech Power Up we can also add double the L3 cache to that list. An entry for an upcoming ROM processor featuring the company's Zen 2 core has popped up and is revealed that the 64 core chip actually features a whopping 256 megabytes of L3 cache. That's 16 megabytes per CCX, double that of the previous generation. This indicates that we will likely see the AMD debut eight core mainstream Ryzen 3000 processors with 32 megs of L3 cache. A larger L3 means that the system would have to fetch data from DDR4 memory less often, which translates into faster work completion for less power, undoubtedly contributing to the IPC and power efficiency gains that Zen 2 brings to the table compared to the original Zen design. So there you have it. An increased L3 cache could lower latency yet again. It's good to see what they did from Zen to Zen Plus, but going from Zen Plus to Zen 2 could bring some radical changes. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and as always, make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you don't want to miss you guys in the next one.